So there's one key acoustics theory that can immediately enhance the way you think about and apply drum tuning. And as a result, you'll learn the skill of drum tuning faster with more knowledge of the instrument. You find it much easier to get the sound you want from the drum kit. You'll be able to tune more precisely, more consistently, and if you wish, to musical notes around the intervals around the drum kit. So essential acoustics theory is that the drum head vibrates at many different frequencies all at the same time. When you hit the drum head, lots of different frequencies are heard as the drum head attempts to vibrate in lots of ways all at the same time. And two of these frequencies are the most important for drum tuning. First one is the frequency excited at the centre of the drum. We call that the fundamental frequency or F0. And the second frequency is the overtone which is excited at the edge of the drum. And we call that F1 or the first overtone of the drum. And it's really easy to hear the difference between those just by hitting between the centre and the edge. It's kind of one has a boom and the other has a ping sound to it. And the tuning of these two frequencies are the most important aspects of drum tuning. First of all, looking at the fundamental. We use the fundamental to set the overall pitch of the drum. And this can be quite high for jazz drummers, or rock drummers tend to tune this pitch quite low. Um, so if I take a reading from this drum with the iDrumTune app, I see it's tuned to 98.5 hertz at this moment in time. Well, if I just nudge this up a little bit, if I just make an arbitrary change on each loop. And now take another reading. You see it's now gone up to 107.5 hertz. So we can set that and take a record of it. And so whenever you're changing drum heads or between days, you can check that your drums are tuned to the same frequencies. Now looking at the overtone, we want to be sure that the drum has the same frequency all around the edge. So that overtone frequency needs to be the same everywhere. If it's not, then it causes clashes in the frequency. So the drum head tries to vibrate at two very similar but different frequencies and that causes kind of warbling or modulation of the sound. So with our drum tune, I can use uh, the lug tuning mode. And just take a reading at every point around the drum. And here I can see which frequencies are a bit lower than the first frequency. So I know which lugs to tune up in order to equalize that drum head. So that's it. That's generally the, uh, the main acoustics theory um, that's really important with drum tuning, the fundamental and the first overtone and how we use them in drum tuning. There's another um, a number of other acoustics theories generally to do with the resonant drum head and a, a damping and so on. And we're going to be making some more tutorial videos about those in due course. Um, so if you want to try the iDrum Tune app, it's available in the Apple and the Android app stores. Uh, or you can join our mailing list and get more information and be notified of the tutorials as they're launched. Thanks for watching.